chairman of the first session of this conference. And it's a pleasure to introduce you the first talk by Gennady Logvinov on inter high temperature interface, uh, high temperature su superconductivity at interfaces. Good afternoon, and I'm very pleased to, uh, to send uh, to organize a committee for invitation me to, to come to this conference. I'm the second time on this conference, and it's a very nice place. Uh, uh, so, to give first talk is a great honor and big responsibility. So, again, thanks a lot to organize, and now I start my uh, lecture about high temperature interface and conductivity. Uh, basically, this work has been done uh, in collaboration with Ivan Bozovich when I was uh, uh, still in Brookhaven and I left, but uh, some outcomes still coming uh, in, uh, in our days. And uh, uh, basically, there are a lot of people are involved in this uh, research, including uh, a fellow who was uh, associated with uh, Pian uh, uh, Lebedev Institute, Zoran Radovich, Miodrak Kulic, and uh, many others uh, who was involved in uh, different atomic layer by layer molecular beam epitaxy of high temperature uh, heterostructure. And uh, at the uh, beginning, I will uh, introduce this technique and also explain motivation why we use this. Uh, after that, uh, uh, I switch uh, to the topic which basically I want to deliver to this uh, uh, audience. Uh, that uh, molecular beam epitaxy is a method which allows to, to design materials, uh, not uh, to synthesize ready materials, but uh, we can try to design uh, new materials, metastable materials, which do not exist in nature. Uh, and of course, here we could uh, meet different uh, level of uh, design and different physics and different issues also problems. So uh, then uh, I uh, stop by on, on overview of our results, what we so far know about high temperature interface superconductivity, and uh, one of the important messages is that this is uh, uh, really a hot topic, uh, stimuli, uh, developing new experimental technique to get new knowledge about uh, this uh, uh, confined phenomena in strong correlated so, first of all, about uh, MV, I was uh, entered to this uh, field in uh, 1998 when I was hired by a startup company also in Germany, Bremen, and the mission of this company was uh, making technology for market uh, of Josephson Junction and superconducting circuits. So, uh, later on, the company was uh, collapsed after the financial crisis. And, uh, with the same machine to Brookhaven. Uh, this is uh, uh, the view of Brookhaven. In 2009, I am Max Planck as <coughs> the head of the technology service group. And basically, I consider that my, my main mission is to build a new outside of the electric system. So far, uh, this is our uh, prototype uh, uh, system, which uh, already many times was shown on this conference, I will not uh, explain in, deta in details uh, uh, the construction, uh, it has, uh, uh, it's vacuum equipment, the important is that this is custom designed by using standard uh, elements. However, uh, success in the production of uh, high temperature uh, superconductor and also oxide heterostructure uh, stimulate here is just uh, some uh, just for wake up you know, that MVE uh, can be also translated as many boring e evening and this is one of the boring evening with uh, my boss in Brookhaven, Ivan Bozovich. So far, uh, uh, this uh, was accepted by commercial markets. So now there are 
are several companies who deliver commercial uh, oxide embedded machine. And one is uh, DCA in uh, Turku, Finland. The other is Vika oxide embedded, which also developed right now. They, uh, but the, the, the big problem here is uh, it's very expensive. And this is immediately the uh, main uh, problem, which I show later in the forming of precipitate. But in addition, there are these factors which, in principle, interact one with the others. For instance, the taxil uh, strain uh, affect uh, oxidation or oxygen content. Substrate termination can affect uh, stoichiometry. Uh, also, interface with substrate can cause some can cause. Uh, so first problem, we simplify the first problem are precipitates. So it's very difficult uh, to grow uh, smooth, atomically smooth film uh, by using uh, deposition from separate uh, sources. Here, for instance, uh, different uh, images, atomic force microscope images of these different precipitates. Scale of this, with the micrometry is really small. But the, the size of these precipitates is really small. Uh, however, they can affect and they affect the uh, uh, properties of these uh, structures and films. Uh, the other complexity is uh, uh, unwanted phases because uh, you grow, for instance, in layer phase, and uh, in phase diagram, depending on the uh, sequence, you, you can uh, nucleate some unwanted phases, which uh, later not uh, dissolve uh, after the next step. This exactly uh, can happen, for instance, for bismuth uh, strontium copper oxide uh, system for complex and uh, this uh, system is long uh, C axis. However, with this you can uh, uh, fight with uh, looking in the lead pattern and uh, try to eliminate the, the, uh, the special structure in the lead pattern which related to formation of calcium, for instance. Of some other uh, cooperates uh, by applying electric field. Limitation is a low electric field breakdown, relatively low and also not very uh, uh, big uh, surface charge interest. Only uh, if you know uh, Henrik Schoen tried to, to fight it by different way. However, okay, here we are, here uh, are different scales for organics, for CMR, for high temperature, for the OSTO, and this is uh, the limit, which is uh, more than 10 to 40, where we should be able to do this. Can we induce uh, high temperature superconductivity? activity? Because in conventional metal, it's not possible, because coherence lens uh, is bigger than uh, screening lens. However, cuprates give us this opportunity because the density of uh, uh, concentration of electrons is smaller and the uh, screen lens is uh, relatively big and progress lenses. We can have ben bending on interface. Yes, fortunately in literature you find this chemical, electrochemical potential dependence obtained by what is being used uh, experiment and you see that up to four, uh, optimum uh, dot level no change, but for all of there is strong change. And uh, then we optimize growth, you just uh, see the, the, we try to avoid precipitates, which uh, here, depending on the growth. And in this way, we really have uh, very flat, flat, very perfect films, which we want now to, uh, to grow together. Over where this interface is located. Uh, for, for instance, we also have this situation we have uh, asymmetry depending <coughs> on uh, layer sequence and also the same terms. We make a uh, LSU layer superconducting. So, all this situation immediately uh, push uh, the following um, uh, direction. So, we need me measurements. We basically Simple, we need to make it with atomic resolution of variation of chemical composition, crystallographic structure, superfluid. Basically, still many of these uh, uh, measurement techniques are not available. However, now I, I show what we so far accomplished. 
So first of all, uh, there are techniques which allow to do some uh, high resolution uh, image of, of atomic layers. This is, for instance, uh, uh, exactly our component, paper uh, done here and here for lanthanum strontium cuprate. And this is interface between the strontium uh, lanthanum illuminate and lanthanum strontium cuprate. Uh, the finding in this paper was that the order on the interface uh, is uh, so that uh, we be missing one lantern of oxygen. So basically interface uh, <laughs> composition is different from this one and from this one. So we can claim that interface is uh, somehow uh, completely different material with different properties. Uh, so and by it enable the layer sequence so we can in principle uh, follow this scheme to you know what layer we should uh, put in the test. For instance here, first uh, test which we get from uh, our groups is just uh, watching the read. The read is a uh, reflection of energy electron detection, so electron beam coming with shallow angle uh, reflect and uh, diffract on the surface. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 